What's going on guys? Welcome back to Go back to another video and in today's video I'm gonna be talking about the M5 and uh, I'm sorry if this is not the type of videos you guys want to see But it's just an update to my life and I just have to keep you guys posted on the current situation For those of you guys who don't want to hear me talking I mean, I guess you guys can click off But this is for those of you guys who actually care about the build and who want to hear about what's going on with the build Especially the M5 because that is the topic of today's video So I went down to BMW and they gave me pretty much a full diagnostic report for the M5 now, I'm not gonna lie guys, uh, when I got this full report, I actually didn't think it's gonna be this extensive and I didn't think they're actually gonna charge me only 210 for all the work they did. But before we actually get into that, you guys will probably see the title of the video, the thumbnail of the video and how they quoted me $10,000 in repairs and uh, that's no joke guys. If you guys check that out, that is over $10,000 in repairs to get our M5 on the road. So obviously that is the reason we actually ended up towing our uh, M5 out of BMW and back to my house. It's gonna sit in front of my house so I can get some more money together. I need to get rid of some of my other builds to make sure that this build can definitely sustain and stay on the road and become an ultimate beast because the M5 is an amazing car and I cannot wait to get it on the road. Let me go ahead and read uh, their paragraph, which was super nice. They actually wrote a full paragraph of what they think it is and what they diagnosed. So the diagnosis pushed the vehicle into the shop and put it onto a lift verify the vehicle does not start vehicle cranks but does not start sounds like it does not have compression battery was completely dead charged vehicle battery and ran vehicle test and found a wide array of faults relating to the uh, the low voltage and fault for crankshaft sensor they ran the test for the crankshaft sensor uh, they tested both wires from the dme to the sensor and those uh, came back to be good they removed the sensor and used another sensor and uh, it looks like the sensors are also good what they did find though the second time the new sensor that we got from fcp euro this is pretty cool bmw actually takes pictures of them and i don't know if you guys can see but there's a slit in the new sensor that we put in there so it looks like uh, i don't know maybe the flywheel or something literally put a slit inside the new crankshaft sensor but yeah basically the new crankshaft sensor that we just put in is damaged they said that the the bent damaged teeth will affect the reading of the crankshaft sensor which will in turn affect the vehicle being able to run so the vehicle at the minimum will need a new flywheel installed with a new crank sensor to retest to see if the vehicle can run. So that's exactly what BMW said. Now their diagnostics, they said it's 210 uh, for diagnostics uh, for about an hour. But, but realistically what BMW means by this is that pretty much if they have to tear into the vehicle, they will charge you more. But if it isn't tearing into the vehicle and just looking from the external of the vehicle and doing everything they can do without taking anything apart, Basically, that means 210, and as soon as they uh, pretty much have to start dropping things like the transmission and other things to do a better diagnostic, uh, that's when it gets super extensive and very expensive. So this is the first thing they noticed, pretty much, <laughs> yeah, our little janky uh, hole there with the crankshaft sensor. We had to do what we had to do to get the new sensor in there, and it worked. It worked perfectly fine, and unfortunately, it, the flywheel got to it. So it's saying the SMG transmission to inspect the clutch and flywheel, the flywheel shows signs of damage to the crank pickup teeth. So for those of you guys who know anything about this stuff, please let me know. I know nothing about the whole how flywheel works and everything. The teeth are hanging on to what exactly? Is it the engine teeth? I have no idea. Maybe they need to synchronize. No idea, but if you guys can let me know down below, just explain a little bit more into this. But they're saying the flywheel, the teeth are bent, which I don't understand how that could possibly happen other than being installed wrong. They're able to notice that just from the crankshaft sensor hole, they looked in there and literally noticed that. I sent a picture of the holes to, directly to Erlan, a guy that used to work at BMW, a good friend of mine, and he told me something looks odd in there. So it looks like BMW did confirm that the teeth is bent. They said to further go into this, it's gonna cost me another $2,500 for them to drop the transmission and visually check everything and replace other parts with some of their regular parts and just make sure that that's actually an issue before diving into a replacement. So to do that, to do to, to, to double check everything is good um, other than uh, you know the, the flywheel and the clutch, they'll actually have to remove everything and that's going to cost me $2,500 just to pretty much look into it. So I figured honestly guys, their number one assumption um, is the clutch and flywheel. At first, they literally thought the engine had low compression. Um, honestly, low compression keeps cranking but won't turn over. This car almost turned over more than twice but because of the flywheel, I believe that the car is not turning over and that's also BMW believe. Let me know, does the flywheel actually not let the car turn over? I don't know guys, let me know down below. Again, I don't know much about all this stuff. I'm a, I'm a car enthusiast but I'm not like a car mechanic so I'm still learning with you guys as well. What was also super cool then, they also diagnosed a few other things. So they said that one of my tires are in really bad shape and does need uh, to be replaced. Like I showed you guys, the crankshaft sensor, they showed the new slit from what the flywheel did to it, which is absolutely crazy. And uh, they said that you need to replace the oil pan. They literally took multiple pictures. They actually send you a link to your phone with all the pictures they took. 
um, showing you where the leaks are from, which is, I love how in-depth their diagnostics are. And it turns out that the oil pan is just, the gasket's been blown out for a long time. The previous owner said he just did the raw bearings recently. And if you just do the raw bearings, you typically replace the oil pan. Anywho, uh, going more in-depth of it, I'm just hoping at this point, guys, that the engine is good. I mean, I'm really hoping the engine's good. We're gonna, I already ordered a new clutch and flywheel from FCP Euro, so huge shout out to them for also partnering up with this video. They did give me a, a discount on the clutch and flywheel, but I did still end up spending a lot of money, guys. Check that out right there. I don't know if you guys can see it, but pretty much $1,700. Guys, I'm literally officially broke. I, I bought all these projects and I'm building them all and I'm, you know, barely affording the little things here and there. And then obviously these big things that came up, I literally just replaced the transmission on the 7 Series, the rear differential on the truck. We're going to have to be moving another transmission off another car, the M5. So if you guys can please support your boy, go down below, cop some merch. I'll be shouting out everybody in the next video that cops some merch that actually watches this video so please again cops some merch support your ball i'll be shouting out everyone in the next video and you guys will also be supporting the m5 and i'll put you guys on the m5 plaque i'm pretty much working on the garage right now we did paint the garage and all the plaques will be going up soon so so look forward to that you guys but yeah going more into this uh diagnostic report they did find obviously missing lug nuts so they said that the front two uh, lug nuts are missing one of the pdc sensors are bad one of the pdc lights are bad uh the right parking lamp is also uh, needs to be replaced the rear brake sensor is cut, so that's a little weird. So it looks like we might need some new rear brake sensors. Uh, again, not, not too big of an issue. We'll take care of all this stuff once we get the car just to turn over. Uh, but another huge issue is uh, the rear dampening suspension. So one of the rear dampening suspensions is leaking, and that alone from them is a $2,400 part. So obviously, we're not going to be getting that done there. So all in all, with the full service and telling me literally everything that needs to get replaced on the M5, it is over $10,000, so I was like, hey, I cannot afford that. And some of this pricing is not even with the parts. Like with the clutch and flywheel, this will probably go up to $15,000 pretty easy, pretty quickly. Sorry if I'm talking so fast, guys. I'm trying to pretty much give you guys all the information in a short time and a short time period. But uh, basically, uh, it looks like we're going to be having to take the M5 to a shop and get a new clutch, new flywheel installed. Um, and hopefully, uh, we, might even, we might even need to get a new transmission. So I'm gonna try to find another transmission because possibly uh, the flywheel could have damaged the transmission as well. And I don't wanna ins uh, install a new flywheel and a new clutch and the transmission ends up being bad and you have to remove the transmission again. So I'm about to just honestly get a new transmission with new sensors on it, new crankshaft sensors, uh, new uh, transmission cooler because our transmission cooler looks a little bit damaged as well. Um, I'm gonna order a new clutch, a new flywheel from FCP Euro, which I already did because of that lifetime warranty. I think that's pretty important for this. And once we get all that transmission stuff situated, plug it into the car and hopefully it starts up perfected, no leaks. I even got a rear main seal to make sure there's no leaks from the transmission back. If we could just hear that engine crank over, we're gonna be towing the car down to SSR Performance and hopefully getting the rod bearings done, all the SMG lines, the, the squirters, everything that possibly you need to get done to make sure the engine is running perfectly healthy and will not blow because the rod bearings will be done at SSR Performance. I got a full list of things that needs to get done to the car, but obviously we'll do all that stuff once we hear the engine just crank over. We just need to make sure the engine is good to go and again if you guys want to support you man check out that first link down below i really mean the world you guys will be shouting on the next video and uh you know as for your man right now i am sitting and uh and I'm, I'm a little bit stressed out but i'm also a little bit pleased to find out that that probably is the issue rather than dipping into a fuel pump smg you know at least bmw when they did a diagnostic it's something that i thought was nearly impossible to figure out um, they pretty much have narrowed it down to be 95% the clutch and flywheel because the flywheel is damaged, so it has to be that. So I'm kind of relieved that we found the problem, but I'm also not relieved that it costs so much money. It is what it is, guys. End of the day, if we can get a new clutch, new flywheel, new transmission, <laughs> and then raw bearings and all the gas gets done this m5 should be a pretty much beast of an m5 with all the maintenance done all future maintenance done and i i think it'll be absolutely a beast of a car once it's all set in stone so for me personally i think it's worth the investment now and i know a lot of you guys want to hear that car turn over i know a lot of you guys want to see videos with that car so i'm pretty excited for it i cannot wait to start doing things to it and i'm not giving up on it boys just like i didn't give up on the 7 series but um on that note I might as well talk a little bit in the seven, about the 7 Series in this video. The 7 Series um, is actually a, in a, a really bad situation. So you guys know that we pretty much did the oil pan gasket, we did the rear main seal, we did all the transmission solenoids, gaskets, transmission pan, new ignition coils, new spark plugs. We did everything we could possibly do to the 7 Series to make sure it is perfect. We even put in a brand new transmission, not brand new, but a used transmission uh, from a place that pretty much said that the transmission is 100% good, gave me a one year warranty on it, paid so much money, paid for coating, 
we wrapped the car, we fixed all the imperfections, we fixed the front end of the car, all the imperfections in the interior. We did literally everything you possibly do to the 7 Series. And uh, recently, I've been taking it out for little drives here and there, and I keep getting a transmission malfunction. This is with a brand new transmission, new coating, new fluids, new everything. And uh, it comes down to the code. I sent it to the coder dude, uh, not Nick, uh, the coding guy that's locally that actually coded in the transmission. He said it came back to be a faulty Megatronics, uh, pretty much. It's the Turbuline sensor, which is part of the Megatronics and everything, which is, again, the brain of the transmission, which was the issue with my last transmission. So uh, it looks like we are officially on a second, second bad transmission, and I've already dumped more than 10 grand on this car, guys, and I don't really, it, it's just not worth it. The car is worth, it's a salvage title with 160,000 miles. I have to go buy another transmission now. It, it's just honestly at this point, guys, I'm gonna try to get a refund on that transmission and I'll let you guys know what's gonna happen with that. Uh, I'm hoping they can let me keep the transmission and refund me for it, but uh, but I'll let you guys know what's going on with that. That has been an absolute headache. I've been dumping too much money into that. So wish me luck, guys. I'm gonna be trying to get a refund on that transmission on the 7 Series and uh, we'll try to figure out what's gonna happen with the 7 Series. I, I, I just, I don't know what's going on with that car, guys. We replaced even the clock spring and then when I got it back from both shops, the clock spring ended up breaking again and then now the sunroof doesn't work again. It's just an absolute hoopty and we fixed everything the first time and it just keeps failing with this. We fix the transmission, another bad transmission. Fix the sunroof, another bad sunroof. Fix the clock spring, another bad clock spring. It, it, I don't know if the car is cursed or whatever, but yeah, this is a full video of me just, just, just pretty much just roasting my own cars and uh, just flipping out and just venting. But anyway, thank you guys for hearing me out. <laughs> <laughs> that pretty much concludes this video. Honestly, I, I didn't want, I was supposed to upload yesterday, but I honestly wanted to get full confirmation that the transmission on the 7 Series was bad, and I wanted to get a full confirmation with BMW and FCP Euro if I'm able to get the new clutch and flywheel, so I did get all that information. I was able to say it all in this video for you guys. So yeah, guys, without further ado, um, support your man down below, please. And without further ado, guys, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. We're getting that M5 on the road.